In this problem, you are trying to solve a magic square. Before you can do that, you must first understand the definition of a magic square. A magic square is a square where the sum of all the digits in every row, every column, and every diagonal is the same. So let's walk through an example of completing a magic square together. Below you see a 3x3 three three grid that contains 9 boxes, and 5 of those boxes have already been filled in with some numbers for us. Our job is to figure out which numbers need to go in the four open boxes in order to make this a magic square. Please keep in mind the definition of a magic square that states that every row, every column, and every diagonal must have the same sum. So by looking at the information we have right now, we can see that we have one diagonal that has already been completed for us. So using those numbers, 6 plus 5 plus 4, we can find out that the sum for that diagonal would be 15. So now we know that the sum of every row, column, and the final diagonal has to equal 15. So from this point, we can begin to plug in numbers that will give us the, the sum of 15 that we need. Let's start with the first column. If we have 4 and 2, which we know added together would be 6, we can subtract that from 15 to find out that the missing number would be 9. If we check our work, 2 plus 9 plus 4 is a total of 15. Now from this point, let's move to our very last row at the bottom there. We have 4 plus 3, which is 7. If we need to get a sum of 15, we can add 8 more to that. If we check our work, 4 plus 3 plus 8 is 15. Now by completing that row, we've also completed the second column, 2 plus 5 plus 8. If we check our work, I can easily add together 2 plus 8 for a total of 10, plus 5 more, which gives me a total of 15. Now from this point, we have two numbers left to fill in, so let's go ahead and move to the very first row at the top there. If we have 2 plus 6, we know that it equals 8. 8 plus 7 more would make a total of 15. Now, from this point, we can check our work in some of the other columns that we have here. And if we move to that middle column, 5 plus 3 was 8, plus the 7 more, which we determined from the last step, would be a total of 15. So, so far, we've managed to make the sum of each one of those columns and rows 15. Now, we have one final box to fill in, and we can think about that in two ways. Let's go ahead and take a look at that in terms of going across the second row. If we have 9 plus 5, which was there for us, that was a total of 14. If we add one more to that, that gives us 15. Now, to check our work for the very final column that you see there on the right-hand side, 6 plus 1 plus 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. 9 plus 6 more would be a total of 15. If we check our work here and take a look at all of our sums, we can see that we've successfully completed this magic square. 